What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, in today's video, we are going to talk about GTC on the Weibo platform. So specifically, I'm using the Weibo desktop app. Um, it's pretty much the same if you have the web app or you have the mobile app. If you see GTC, it means the same thing. So we're gonna cover that um, in today's video. But uh, before we get started, if you're new here, we talk about everything uh, Weibo, tips and tricks on how to leverage the Weibo platform to make you a better um, investor. So hit that like button and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on new content. So when it comes to GTC, let's start with the uh, definition of GTC. What does GTC stand for? So it stands for good till cancel orders. So again, it, it, what that simply means is that if you place an order, let's say you place an order right uh, in the morning at 8, 830 when the market opens. And if you don't, if you don't put this to GTC, when the market closes for that day, that order would be canceled. It is not going to be executed. So but if you want it to help to like go throughout uh, days, weeks, month, then you can definitely uh, set it to GTC. So I'm going to show you guys here with an example. So that would make um, actual sense. So again, the market opens at 830 central time, um, closes at 3 p.m. And then you have after hours and you have pre-market. And so you can execute orders uh, during that period, but you have to set uh, GTC in place. So let's take a look here with some examples. I think that would make a lot more sense uh, than me just talking about it. So let's say for instance, again, this is the Weibo desktop app. Um, I'm actually looking at say Pinterest right here, trading at $62.60. And again, this is after hours, just so you know. So if I wanted to place an order, if you go to the order entry form, which you can see right here, uh, where we want to go is here. So, and again, here it says time in force. So your time in force has two options. The first option is day, and the second option is GTC. So when you set your time in force today, it means that the order that you place, if at the end of the day that order is not executed, and then that order would be canceled. Pretty much simple. So if you're looking to do an order that would can hold overnight and go for a week or two until it gets to your price point, and then you want to set that to GTC. So let's say, for instance, if I see Pinterest right here, and I say I like Pinterest at maybe $55. So I can come here, I can say, okay, put Pinterest at $55, and then I input my quantity. Let's say I want to buy 100 shares at $55, and then um, right now the price is not at 55. So if I set it today, um, as soon as the market closes, this order is going to be canceled. And then I'll have to do the order again. But I don't want to have to do that. So what do I do? I set it to good till cancel. And then the other thing that I do, which I'm going to do a separate video on, is that I set my extended hours to yes. And here's the reason why I set extended hours to yes. Let's say after hours, the price of Pinterest dropped down to 55. It would fill my order. And then if it goes back up before the market opens the very next day, I'm already in the stock. But if I didn't have um, extended hours set to yes, and then it wouldn't fill me, I would come up and see that it actually went down to 55, but I didn't get filled. So once you set uh, your time in force to GTC, make sure that you set your extended hours to yes. That way, if it goes during regular hours, you get filled. If it goes during extended hours, you still get filled. So you don't you don't miss out anything. So at that point, once you're done with it, you just press, um, it's because I'm not locked in. You just press uh, trade and it would place that order and wait until the price comes to um, $55 and then it would fill. If it doesn't, if it never makes it to 55, that order is going to be sitting out there and waiting until the price drops to 55 for it to get filled. So that's pretty much what uh, GTC is and how to leverage GTC on the Weibo platform. Definitely let me know in the comment section if you do have any questions. Again, like I said, I'm going to do a separate video on extended hours and explain how extended hours work on the Weibo platform. Again, let me know in the comment section if you do have any questions. If you're new here, we talk about everything Weibo, tips and tricks on how to leverage the Weibo platform to become a better investor. So definitely hit that like button and the subscribe button so you don't miss, you don't miss out on new content. And I'll see you guys in the next one.